Do you want me to start or you want me to wait on you? That was the introduction? What kind of introduction was that? I'm teasing you, I'm teasing you. <laughs> okay. I just want to take you all in for a second here. <sighs> and now we're going to begin. And the first thing we're going to do is an activity. I need you to actually get out of your chairs. I know, dread, right? So not fun. What? She's already got me participating in activity? Yeah. What I want us to do is not sit like this at all. It's like a stadium, isn't it? So just move your chairs anywhere that you'd like. Just open it up. Let's open up the room. Yeah. Thank you. Mashkur, shukran, shukran jazeelan, mashkur, boyit. Assalamu alaikum. I forgot to say that. Masa khair. Marhaba. Izaya. Shalonich, shalonich. Kif hal? Kif What else? Am I missing anything? I got it all? You sure? Okay, did I do Lebanon? I did Jordan? Did I do Syria? I did, I know I did Kuwait. Egyptian, Izayek, I said Izayek. Yeah, okay. Uh, where? Yeah? Marhaba. Marhaba, marhabtain. All right. I will now say bon dia. This is Portuguese. Buenos dias, buenos tardes. Good afternoon in Spanish. And hello. <laughs> okay, so can we move the chairs a bit? Yalla, yalla. Let's go. Yalla, yalla, yalla. Good, mashallah, mashallah. In Morocco, they said tabakala. <laughs> I just came from there. Can you see my henna? It's dissolving. Yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. So. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the power of activities, but before we start with the power of activities, I want to tell you a little secret. I hate, wait, wait, lean forward, come forward, come closer, because I'm going to tell you a little secret. I hate PowerPoint. Did I just break the rules? Good, good. How many trainers do we have in the room? How many coaches do we have in the room? Mashallah, Habibti. Yes. How many facilitators do we have in the room? Okay, lean forward again. Lean forward again, because I have another secret. We've got Mohammed raising hands, facilitator. Who would you like? You want him? Okay. Ustad Lusamat. Shukran. All righty. So lean forward, lean forward. Who said? They were not a coach. Who said they were not a coach? Raise your hand if you said you're not a coach. Thank you for your honesty. And who said that you're not a facilitator? Okay, thank you for your honesty. Are you in the workshops? Are you in the classrooms? Are you giving trainings? Those that said no, you're in the workshops, you're in the classrooms giving trainings? Yeah? Lean forward again. I have a little surprise for you. You are a coach and you are a facilitator. Here's another secret. When you're in the classroom, I'm gonna break another rule here. It's not about you. Who is it about? Learners. It's about, yes, learners, the attendees, the participants. We had kids, if you're working with children. Yeah, it's about them, isn't it? Great, Muhammad promised me a clicker, but I don't have a clicker. See, this is why I hate PowerPoint. Where's my clicker? Yalla. Thank you. All righty. So, diving in, I'm going to start with you. So we're going to stand up again, OK? We have a little exercise with your, yeah. OK? All righty. Stand up, please. And I want you to find somebody, either near you or far. And you're going to face each other, OK? Yeah? Good, good. We're already starting. Fantastic. And we're going to play a little game. Can you please come and help me, Karim? The game is simple. Is it on? Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. We forgot to put this inside. Uh, Arturo, I heard your name, huh? Okay, thank you, Arturo. We're going to play a little game, and the game is simple. It's called one, two, three. Now, if you prefer it in Arabic, wahid, ithnain, thilafa, mafimushkala. Okay? 
We will do one, two, three, Karim. Yeah. That's okay for you? Yeah. <laughs> All righty. So, first, I will start. I will be one. Karim will then say two. Then I will say three. You will do the same with your partners. One, two, three, or wahid, ithnain, thalatha. Then it will alternate. You will begin wahid, ithnain, thalatha. And we will go back and forth as fast as we can. Okay? Then we're going to change it up. But we'll just do a little practice round first, okay? I have to put the mic down for a moment. Do you understand? Yeah. Anta Araf? Yeah. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. What? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Do you see? Yeah. This was this was real. This was real. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, one. Okay. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. Now do you see? Even I am pausing, okay? What we will do next will be a surprise. You start with one, two, three with each other, and I will explain the purpose of this activity in a moment, okay? Go ahead. Yalla. Who doesn't have a partner? Join with each other. Join with these ladies here. You can join together. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Let's come back together. Let's come back together. Yalla. Okay, now we're going to change it up. The two is now going to become a clap, okay? So like this. You understand? One, you clap on two. Don't say two, okay? One, two, then I say three. One, three. One, three. <laughs> One, three. One, three. Yella, you got this? Okay, go ahead with your partners. Mashallah, good job. Let's come back. Good job. Good job. You need help down? <laughs> Are we on? Are we back? We're having a problem? Thank you, Arturo. Is it on? It's on, sir. Why aren't we moving? See, this is why I hate PowerPoint. Why? What did you notice when you did the game? You focus because you need to think. You need to think and focus, and someone said it was easy? Yeah. What was easy about it? It was fun. It was fun? You enjoyed it? Okay. It was a There was a There was a pattern. Ah, okay. And anything about partnership? What did you notice about the partnership, Arturo? You need to work together. You need to work together, yeah. yeah. So you can get and concentrate together. concentrate together, work together. And also, was it playful? Yes. Was there laughter? Was it personal? Was it personalized? Person to person? Yeah. And was there a lot of yearning, meaning getting to the next number? There was an element of suspense, wasn't there? Okay, is she going to get it right? Is he going to do it wrong? Yeah. Am I going to make a mistake? This game is quite interesting because it actually connects the right brain and the left brain. It's a fabulous activity when you're in the classroom or in the play shop, I like to call it, because it gets your group prepared and ready. And it's fabulous to do from the beginning because they're awake, they're alert, and they're aware and they're present with you. And it's also an opportunity for you to interact with the group. I did this with Karim up here, but I was going around and, and walking with you as well. So what we're going to be learning today is the power of play in your play shops. This is what I like to call them. I don't like to call them workshops. Why don't I like to call them workshops? Good, oh, yeah, we're playing, and who likes the word work? I don't like that, and nor do the participants, right? In fact, I have to tell you, I don't like standing on the stage. I like to be down with you. So I'll come down there in a moment. 
Alrighty. So, as a trainer, in fact, I don't like that word. I'm breaking a lot of rules today because I want to teach you the importance of being unconventional in your play shop. The more unconventional that you are, the more that you break the rules, the more you're going to have followers for life. Who wants followers? Yeah, we want followers, don't we? Why do we want followers, guys? Why do we want followers? You can achieve more. How can you achieve more, Toro? Because you have someone who will support you when you would like to do something. Yeah, you've got a participant who's following you to your various play shops and wanting to be with you. Maybe they recommend you. Maybe they refer you, yeah? Maybe they show up and they help create a fabulous workshop with you or a fabulous play shop with you because they're on board and they think you're absolutely amazing, huh? And perhaps they're rooting for you inside your play shop with the other participants and getting the other participants to be on board with you, right? Making your job really easy. Those of you who've said you're a trainer, coach, or facilitator, have you ever noticed that you might be tired at the end of a training, exhausted, tapped out, ah, Mohammed's raising his hand, John's raising his hand. One of the things that's so beneficial about activities and create, creating your workshop like it's a play shop is you get to do less work. You have them doing the work. You're facilitating and guiding them and you're then maintaining and sustaining your energy. And so by the end of a three-day, four-day, or five-day workshop, you actually feel reinvigorated and recharged and rejuvenated and ready to do the next one. It used to be when I was finishing workshops, by the weekend, I was crashed out, laid out, had no energy for anybody or anyone or anything. When I started to really be a coach in the play shop and having people play and being involved and doing more of the work, I found I could go from one workshop to the next one, okay? So, what I want you to do is find a partner now. Do you see how I'm having you do the work? <laughs> I want you to find a partner now, anybody. So let's go ahead and, if you have to move seats or sit with somebody. Yeah? Yalla, yalla, yalla. <laughs> move it, move it, move it. Everybody has a partner. I see some singles out there. I won't point you out, I promise. <laughs> We've got a trio. Sir, would you like to join them over this way? Yes, please. Thank you very much. Okay, what I want you to do is I want you to answer these questions with each other. Okay, you and your partner. Alrighty? By the end of a training, how do you know you've done a great job? The second one is, what is your hope or your intention for your participants? Since this is not about you as a coach, facilitator, or training, it's about them. When you go into the play shop every time, what is your hope or your intention for your participants? What do you want them to walk away with regarding the course as well as your performance? Now when I say performance, I use this word lightly. I don't mean that you are a celebrity or you're Madonna on the stage. I mean you doing your professional performance, right, Muhammad? Yeah, <laughs> okay. So, go ahead and I would like for you to just take, maybe take two minutes and answer these questions with each other, okay? Beautiful. For those of you who are not trainers, coaches, or facilitators, if you could answer it from the perspective of how do you know that the trainer has done a great job when they've worked with you, okay? And what is your hope as a participant from the training? So if you're not somebody who's in the training industry, answer it from the perspective of you as a participant. Yeah? Okay. Where is my Oh, with each other. You're done, Halas? The success group over here. <laughs> I know you're with John, so you've got some good stuff. <laughs> Who needs more time? Which partnership needs more time? <clears throat> Do you need more time up here? Okay, so let's come back together. And can I just get some of your responses? Who would like to share? Yes, please. What is your name? Rima? Rima. Okay, hi Rima. What would you like to share? What was your answer with number one with you and John? 
maybe I can. Thank you, Rima. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is an opportunity to be great. I'm giving a public training course here, and suddenly I've heard about the event. Oh. I was very much uh, you know, impressed about uh, your presentation. Mashallah. So, uh, Mashallah, we can uh, thank everybody's presence, uh, and I'm so happy to be among all of you. I'm a certified trainer. We met at the PTC. PTC we met, no? Uh, yes, 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 yes. But I'm a certified trainer. I work for United Nations. Okay. I have reporters. Okay. And uh, plus, uh, I'm a trainer with the American University of Humans. Okay. So we do lots of training for kids. But uh, I love very much your presentation. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to attend the whole day. But so glad to join your session and have a as well. Thank you for I'm being here. Thank you. Thank you. So wishing you all the best in your future endeavors, everyone. Yes, you do a great job. So my advice to everyone, look smart, not very hard. Don't feel exhausted. And this is the answer for question number one. Myself and my colleague, I'm Sir John Letter. Mm. Thank you. Mm. So one of the things, keep your energy very high. Mm. So always by the end of the training, make sure that we will enjoy that time mm. in our trainings. Have fun and learn something out of Beautiful. our programs. Beautiful. So this is what I wanted to answer. Nice. Uh, Rima, thank you. Thank you, Rima. Let's give her a hand. Thank you very much. I love that. Work smart. Yes, not work hard. Work smart. Great. And she's saying that so that you can preserve your energy, yeah? All righty. What's your hope for your participants? Anybody like to share your hope or your intention for your play shops? Yes, John. Thank you. Thank you. I really look for four things for the program. I like people to have a really good time to try and get rid of those bad feelings about school. A lot of people hating school, being told off, having their creativity killed. So people have a good time. Secondly, to acquire some new ideas. So you have to give some input, but not all input. So some new ideas, the opportunity to try some new behaviors, and number four, to be able to add value to their organization and themselves. So those are my four Beautiful. John, beautiful. Let's give John a hand. Thank you, John. Those intentions are extremely clear. Thank you. I love that. And it's very, very true about us having a lot of fun. So let's move through this because they're today cut my time from 45 minutes to 30 minutes. All righty. So let's dive in a little bit about how adults learn because adults learn very differently than children, don't they? And let's have you answer that. How do you, and I never got my flip chart pen, so usually I actually like to incorporate the flip chart. There's a reason for that, it's actually an activity. I'm a former director of uh, Dale Carnegie Training and we use a lot of the flip chart because it's actually memorializing the comments of the participants and they like to see their comments on the flip chart. So I'll just throw that little tidbit and trick at you to use it as much as possible. If I had my flip chart pen, I'd be writing down what you've said, Rima and John. Okay, so anyhow, moving in. How do adults learn? How do you think they learn, or what do they like to learn when they're in a play shop? Do, 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 do. Yes, Dr. Mohammed. By example. They love to learn by example, don't they? Yes, they do. What else? Any other ways? I'll let you cheat. We'll let you cheat. <laughs> okay, they want to have freedom in learning. What do we mean by that? What do we mean by freedom in learning? I'm sorry, Rima? Free spirited? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. They want to be able to voice their opinions. They want to be able to express. They want to interact. It's got to be engaging. Arturo. It's not so structured that yeah. it will not be very boring. No, exactly. So we did the one, two, three game. You're moving your chairs. You're laughing. You're getting up. You're getting into partnerships, aren't you? The focus and the intention, again, is all on them, isn't it? Rima made a comment about sustaining and maintaining your energy. That's the power of play. And we're going to learn a little bit about a play system in just a moment here. They also want the learning to be really positive, really fun, really empowering, really encouraging, really inspirational, really motivational. We want a lot, don't we, as adults? We're worse than kids. <laughs> We're kind of a tough group to teach, aren't we? Yeah. However, the more positive you can be and the more reinforcing you can be, the more they're going to be in partnership with you. 
That's actually the primary purpose of today's seminar with you on the power of activities, is you as a coach and facilitator and trainer, you want to be in partnership with your participants, yeah? We want fun, don't we? So we started clapping uh, in the other presentation, didn't we? We had a lot of fun. We did the one, two, three game, and we had a lot of fun. The more fun that you have, the more alive your brain is to receive the information, okay? They also want the material to be current and relevant. They also want to be able to use the information. So if you're giving them information that they feel they can't take back, bleh, they say, that was a dud training. Yeah. So the more current that you can make it, the more excited they are, and the more they're going to be right there with you, and they're going to be your follower. How many followers do we want to have, guys? We want followers. Yeah, yeah. Millions, right? Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, you name it. We want followers. OK. Again, we want the learning to be active and really experiential. So the more they're actually diving in and rolling up their sleeves and getting dirty, so to speak, the more they're in partnership with you. OK? There's no purpose to this slide. No purpose. But Muhammad's laughing. Beautiful. Because that is the purpose. I know. Sounds ridiculous, but rubber duckies. Who doesn't laugh at that? And then we can do something like this in a training, poke fun at it, and they're going to remember you, and we've had a very playful moment. All righty. So let's start to learn this play system, OK? Literally, P-L-A-Y. The more that we use this play system as coaches and facilitators, and we actually have play as a metaphor, it's an intentional metaphor, the more that we're playing, rolling around on the ground, singing and dancing or whatnot, of course, culturally appropriate, the more that you've got your followers and your participants involved and engaged. We want them to have synergy with you, and you as a trainer want to be able to maintain and sustain your energy for five days oftentimes, right? Sometimes we have five-day trainings here. Alrighty, so it's an intentional metaphor that we're using for play. Wow, Rami, let's give Rami a round of applause because I think I've got three minutes left. Okay. <laughs> Studies show that a participant's going to have a lot of followers, sorry, trainers are going to have a lot of followers if people are playing in the classroom. I'm a certified fish philosophy facilitator. Has anybody heard of fish? Anybody heard of fish? The fish. Fish philosophy? Yes. Yeah. The mongers. All we do, yes, the fishmongers. All we do is play. It's literally a play workshop, rolling around on the ground like kids, playing. And you will remember this training for life because all you did was train. All you did was play. And it's such a blast, OK? The first thing is, when we are playing, we're very personalized. Have you noticed when I've been working with you, those people who've been speaking to me, I've been doing something. What's my, my name. Calling them by their name. Excellent, yes. Dr. Muhammad. Dale Carnegie says that the sweetest name in any language is your own, your name. So do me a favor and shout out your name right now. Arturo. Woo! <laughs> Arturo was the only one. Mashallah, Arturo. Parabéns. Felicidades. Very good. Let's try it again. Shout out your name. Actually, stand up and put those arms out in a warrior pose and shout your name to the heavens. Yeah, look. Lori! <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. All righty. The more that we remember our participants' names, the more personalized our touch is. And the more they feel you're with them, the more they feel it's one on one, the more intimate it feels. And actually, the closer that you can get when you're in a workshop, and I do realize it's a little different sometimes here in Kuwait. We have to be a bit mindful, don't we, culturally? But still, if you can stand facing your people, your participants, look them in the eye and have some proximity and use their name and be very personalized and remember very specific things about them that they shared with you, have an authentic connection, you will have a follower for life and you will really, truly impact their lives. One of the things that adults want is transformative learning. They want to know that after their play shop with you, their workshop with you, their life has been changed in some radical way, even if it was just one takeaway, one breakthrough. And the way that you can have radical transformative change with them is to be person to person, as personalized as you possibly can to create an authentic, intimate connection. So you as facilitators, you as coaches, I have another secret. Come forward. Yes. I don't want you to be scared. 
I want you to take big, big risks. And I want you to coach in the moment. And I want you to use your imagination, your innovation, so you can be more personalized with your people. Trust that gut, trust your instinct, okay? When your instinct is yelling and screaming and shouting at you, say this, do this, do it. Don't let the ego pop in. Come from your honest, authentic self, okay? Trust that you are gonna be a big witness for that participant, that you can, metaphorically speaking, hold them and support them, okay? So you can have more play with them. The next thing is laughter. We've done a lot of it today, right? What happens when we have laughter? We do learn more, don't we? We have a lot more fun. Dr. Mashti said it in the presentation before, the more that we have humor, the more that we have fun, the more that we're actually learning, especially as adults. The next is action-oriented activities. We've been doing that. They can be simple. It doesn't have to be this long, drawn-out exercise. It could be simply lean in, as I've been doing with you today, right? It could simply be you getting up and moving your own chairs. It could be the partnership that you did when you were answering the question. But there is action. And that's the key. If we don't have action and we're sitting there, people get bored, especially as adults. So what I do need you to do is, if we could just have you switch one chair, you can move one chair over, just change the seat that you're sitting in, just move to a different chair. Beautiful. You guys are a great group. Give yourselves a round of applause, because it's the end of the day and you're doing a great job. Simple action but the energy you can feel it was going down. So we're just doing a state change, just a geography change, a location change, aren't we? And you're still now back with me. The last thing, why? We want to get people to yes. Yes? Yes. Great, I got you to yes already. Why do we want to get our participants to yes? What is the power in yes? What was that? Positive thinking, tell me your name. Isam. Isam, nice to meet you, Isam. How do you mean positive thinking? I like what you're saying, Isam. Go forward. Yeah, to go forward. The more that you've got your participants saying yes, saying yes, saying yes, say it with me. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Sa, sa, sa. <laughs> What's another way to say yes, si, 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 in Espanol, in Portuguese? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nam, nam, nam. <laughs> The more that we get people saying yes in any language, as I just did with you, the more they are yearning. What's yearning? What is yearning, guys? Do you know what yearning is? Mohammed shaking head, no? Arturo? You want more. You're screaming for more. You're calling for more. I want more. Yearning for more. There's like this suspense level. They're excited. They're enthusiastic. They want to be with you. And the more they're yearning, the easier it is to get them to? Yes. Woo! Right, very nice, okay? That is play. That is play in a nutshell. And here's the thing, and here's the power of play. The more that we're in play, the more we're in partnership, okay? And that's where I said at the beginning of this play shop today, the more that we're in partnership and that you celebrate this human being or multiple human beings in the play shop, the more alive they are, and the more fun you're having in your own play shop, and the more fun they're having, and the more followers you have for life. And you're sustaining and maintaining your own energy. Okay, we're gonna do one last exercise, one last activity. And I wanna share with you that anything we did today, please feel free to go back and do your own. Feel free to use these, okay? If you could please get with a different partner, a partner you did not do one, two, three with. Come on, guys, I know it's the end of the day, but let's do it, let's move it, move it, move it. <laughs> yeah, and just introduce yourself, right? We talked about person to person and having things personalized. If you don't know this new partner, please introduce yourself. Gentlemen, cheaters. <laughs> I need you to stand. I need you to stand. Okay. I would like there to be a partner A, and this is only going to take a few seconds and then we're done, okay? So hang in there with me. A partner A and a partner B. So, so, so choose in your group who will be partner A and who will be partner B. Everybody has their A and everybody has their B? Yes. Okay, partner B, you will go first. I'll go first. Partner B will go first. Partner B, you're going to change some things about your appearance. 
Okay? So, for example, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm not going to tell you. You get creative and change things about your appearance. And maybe there's slight changes. Okay, so partner A, you really want to be looking at your partner right now because they're going to turn around and they're going to look different when they come back. This is the last one and I'm done. Okay, so partner B, turn around. And partner A, turn around as well. Partner B, start making changes to your appearances. Take things off, move your jewelry, move things around, do things differently, change your hair up, take your glasses off, whatever you have to do. Okay, change things. Everybody's made their change? Partner B's, you've made your changes? All righty. Who needs more time? Okay, let's face each other. All righty. Now, partner A, have a good look at partner B and start noticing. And partner B, point out if they're correct or not. And if they notice everything, because sometimes they don't notice everything. <laughs> yeah? Everybody's pointing out the changes? Did everybody get the changes? Did everybody see? Or did some people not get them? Everybody got it? You missed some? You missed some? He helped you. <laughs> okay, good. Let's sit back down. What's the purpose of that last activity, that last playful, fun activity? What's the purpose, do you think? To move, sure, absolutely. To gain energy again. Yeah, some power, yeah. Beautifully something. Laughing, Laughing beautifully, some beautiful. Yeah, lots of the things that we've covered in play. Person to person, yes, beautiful. Connection, yes, person to person. So you're, you're exercising P in play, aren't you? Because it's very personalized. What else? We said laughter as well, Isam, beautiful. What is your name? Safa. Safa? Brain activity, yes it is, because you really have to think, don't you? And here's the other thing. It goes back to P and to that person to person and that connection. Oftentimes we don't pay attention, right? Yes, what is your name? That's right. I'll tell you, as often as I do this exercise, so many times people missed very obvious things, especially glasses. We're really, really not truly authentically connecting and designing an alliance and a partnership. So the more as a coach, the more as a trainer, facilitator that you are, that you can exercise the power of play, literally and metaphorically, the more you're going to have a beautiful partnership of followers for life and have a transformative, radical change in your play shops. Thank you so much for being with me today. I enjoyed every one of you. Yes, please. I have just one comment please. to say. First, I would like to thank you. Thank you. They don't. Mm -hmm. I would like to have you giving a lecture to our teachers to tell them how to interact with the mm -hmm. kids. Because kids learn the same mm -hmm. way yes, yes, yes. we learn. They mm -hmm. like to play, they mm -hmm. like to interact, they like to see the end mm -hmm. before they start mm -hmm. learning. Mm -hmm. This is what I, I hope that you all, as a team, if you work with teachers, tell them that kids learn just like you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What is your name? Dr. Huda, Dr. Huda, thank you. I want to say adults, what I had said was adults learn differently. They don't like lecture. Children can usually tolerate lecture a little bit longer than adults. But yeah, it is true, especially in Kuwait. You are right. <laughs> you are right. It does depend on the area. You are right. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you very much. And thank you, Dr. Mohammed. Thank you. Have a great day. Enjoy.